going to record. Find the natural log of secant theta plus tangent theta in term of x if the secant theta is x over 4. The answer is here. There are two ways to get this answer. One way is to using the fact that you know the secant theta is really 1 over cosine of theta. Now, there's a shortcut how I remember this. If the function starts with the s, then 1 over always starts with the c, similar for cosecant theta. That's 1 over a sine. Okay, so if it starts with a c, then you have 1 over a sine. Anyway, so over here, you know it's 1 over cosine is equal to x over 4. So that gives you a clue that cosine theta is really equal to 4 over x. So what well, we have cited, this is theta, and then here's my x. Okay. Using Pythagorean theorem, then there's a short leg here. Of course, it's x squared minus 4 squared, which is 16. Okay. If you know this triangle relationship from here, it's pretty easy to see that tangent theta is really radical of x squared minus 16 divided by 4. And from here, you can get the answer. Okay. Another way you can do the similar thing is that you still need to find tangent theta. If you're good at memorizing formula, uh, which I'm not particularly fond of this method, nonetheless, it's a, it's a viable method. Yeah, there's an identity that tangent theta is equal to secant squared minus 1. So since you know this one is x over 4, okay, that gives you the tangent squared. From there, you can see tangent theta is really radical root of x squared minus 16 divided by 16, or you're going to get that exactly the same answer we had before, which is x squared minus 16 over 4. Once you have the tangent theta found, and then everything else falls into place. All right, have a confident day.